You may be familiar with our other app, Kitmaker, which automatically turns your sample packs into organized drum kit presets for various DAWs. Preset Maker is our new standalone app with a similar concept, but with a focus on creating melodic presets. It's for both Mac and PC and makes presets for MPC, Ableton, Beatmaker, Deluge, and can also make SFZ presets. You can import sample packs from machine expansions, splice packs, and other sources of samples. There are two types of presets it makes. Multi-sample instrument presets, which are instruments with different recordings of notes automatically transposed across the keyboard to the corresponding notes. And another type of preset made by grouping together one-shot samples. This type of preset groups your sample pack's one-shot samples together by category and creates presets that are easy to load and experiment with. Like this horns preset. Or this guitars preset. Instead of tediously putting together multi-sample instruments or digging through folders for the right sound, you can instantly load presets and focus on making music. Import any sample pack that organizes its one-shots into folders or has multi-sample file names with properly labeled notes. I'll show you more of the details, starting with multi-sample instrument presets. Multi-samples are audio files that have multiple recordings of the same instrument, but at different pitches or notes. A lot of DAWs let you create your own multi-sample instruments, but it can be a lengthy process of importing the files, setting the key of each note, setting up the range of each note, and so on. Preset Maker takes the hassle out of the process and automatically does all these steps on its own. Even if you only have a few different notes of audio samples, it will know how to transpose and pitch all the keys in between. Machine expansions are a great source of multi-sample instruments. I'll import a couple now. Let's check out a couple instrument presets it made. Note that Preset Maker doesn't turn all machine instruments into multi-sample presets. Only the files inside of the Instruments folder, but most machine expansions include some multi-samples here. I've mainly been showing Ableton in these examples, but the presets will be created and organized in a similar way for the other DAWs as well. Note that Preset Maker doesn't record and create audio files itself. You will need to already have some sample packs of your own. You can also use auto sampling software like Logic, MPC, or MPC Beats desktop software to record multi-sample audio files, then you can import those into Preset Maker. One difficulty to overcome is that not all companies use the same naming conventions for their multi-sample files. For Preset Maker to process the files, they'll need the note followed directly by the octave, as well as the name of the instrument included in the file name. For more specifics on the naming convention, I'll link a video that focuses on those details. Luckily, it's common for multi-sample packs to already include this information, but there's a quick help guide in Preset Maker that can always remind you of the formatting. Currently, the app requires the file names to include the musical note, but some packs have files that only display the note value as a number, and we want to allow these file names as well in a future update. When you process your sample packs, the presets will be created and organized in a folder on your desktop and ready to bring into your DAW. Ableton presets will be installed into your user library under Sampler, Preset Maker Presets. It's good to save this folder to your favorites so it's easy to access. No matter which DAW you use, your presets are available to load instantly. You can even use samples you record yourself, allowing you to make your own instruments without the hassle. I recorded these four guitar notes and labeled the file names with the note, octave, and name of the instrument. Here is the preset Preset Maker automatically created from them. It can even process multi-velocity multi-samples if the files include that information, such as velocity level or the velocity MIDI value. Street Swarm is an example of a machine expansion that includes some multi-velocity audio samples. You can hear the difference between a soft press on the keyboard and a hard press on the keyboard. Multi-velocity presets can be created for MPC, Ableton, and SFZ formats. The way Preset Maker organizes the presets is simple. The presets will be grouped together by sample pack, i.e. the folder you import, and the name of the instrument presets are determined by the file names themselves. 
one-shot keyword presets will be named after the category of the samples. Let's get into those now. As I briefly showed earlier, these presets group together one-shot samples into easy-to-load presets. Instead of scrolling through folders of individual sounds, you can load a category of one-shots from your sample pack. For example, a preset of guitar samples, or a preset of synth samples. The app scans the folder names of your sample packs and looks for keywords of common sample categories. If it finds a keyword such as violin, it will know to categorize these samples as a strings preset, where all the string instrument one-shots from your sample pack are spread across the keyboard. Instead of mapping the notes by key for a multi-sampler, this second type of preset takes your one-shots, groups them together as presets, and spreads the samples across the keyboard for easy access. You can now experiment with all the one-shots of a certain category just by hitting the keys. In MPC and Beatmaker, you can also switch to note mode and play any of the samples as an instrument. By default, the one-shots are placed in the middle of the keyboard and onward. Depending on your MPC setup, pads for these keys may be in your later banks, but you can always lower the starting octave in the settings. You can also create presets of non-melodic sounds, such as percussion, which is one of the default categories. Just remember to turn off the melodic filter for the category. You can even set it to create a keyword preset for something specific, like hi-hats, and quickly load all your hi-hats from any of your sample packs. As you can see, you can edit the keywords and sample categories to fit your style of samples and workflow. Preset Maker is like having an assistant that does a lot of the prep work for you. You can quickly process a lot of sample packs and turn your folders of audio files into inspiring presets that put the sounds at your fingertips. Whether loading collections of one-shot sounds or playing multi-sample instruments, Preset Maker puts an end to digging around for sounds by hand and lets you instantly load presets that inspire music making. Thanks for watching. To see more details and the user manual, visit the webpage at presetmaker.com or visit our main site at kit-maker.com.